still have some kind of breaking, some kinds of breaking news if you want to hear about some of them. Yeah, sure. So the first is we are actually in discussions to try to bail out uh, Bobby Shmurda. Um, I'm I'm sickened by you know this guy is you know forget whether you think he's guilty or not the guy should not be sitting in jail right now it's insane mm-hmm. he's from Brooklyn I'm from Brooklyn you know he, he deserves a fair trial he deserves good lawyers he doesn't have good lawyers his label is hanging him out to dry and so I have a conference call tomorrow morning with them and to try to I'll, I'll show up the two million bail money no fucking problem you know right. um. He's, he's not going to flee the country. I'm not going to lose anything. And I don't think I, you know, I'm going to try to make that happen. So that's one thing I'm working on. Wait, um, so where, where did that come from? I mean, I, I know, I'm sure you're familiar with the story, but the, yeah. it just, it just, were, were you a fan or was the story what, you know, discussed? You, you know, know, I'm a fan and I'm a businessman. Uh, you know, I'm not going to do this for free. <laughs> You know, he's gonna he's gonna have to do something for me. Um, I don't know what that's gonna look like yet, but you know, he's gonna owe me one, obviously. And I'm also I'd like to pay for his legal defense as well. You know, uh, I'm a big fan, but I'm also an opportunist. You know that. And I uh, see an opportunity here. He's a talented guy. Every concert I go to, people yell "Free Smurda." You know, he he reminds me of me, quite frankly. You know, the guy is totally irreverent, doesn't give a fuck what people think. Totally crazy guy, right? And I just love him. You know, he's so irreverent, so doesn't give a fuck, so just just love that style. He's not far from grew up, not far from where I grew up in Brooklyn. You know, I'd love to help him out. You know, I wish someone helped me out when I needed help. And, mm. you know, he doesn't have much money. I know that. Um, you know, he's definitely hurting for money. You know, this label's not helping him. He's probably spent all his money already and you know he needs a bailout basically and you know so I'd like to help him out you know no no big promises but I'm seeing what I can do and like I said if I can post the two mil I would do it um, tomorrow so I'm working on it and hopefully we'll see him see him free soon wow <clears throat> and uh, I mean look you you're unabashedly an opportunist you said it is part of it is part of it because it'll be in potentially perceived olive branch to the hip-hop community. I mean, hip-hop isn't really feeling you right now. Oh, it's a mix. You know, I think, uh, look, it, it, the guy's going to have to record for me if he comes out. I mean, I'll just come out and say it, right? He's, you know, if I'm going to post his bail, pay for his trial, get it, get him a fucking not guilty verdict, you know you can buy that shit. <laughs> the right lawyer, right. the best lawyers, just a matter of money. And, you know, I can do that. And look, what Shug did for Tupac. I mean, I just, you know, I, I see an opportunity. The guy's going to be even more popular when he's out. He probably didn't do shit. You know, he's trying to turn this fucking, turn a, to turn a new chapter in his life. And some old shit is fucking coming up and hurting him. He's Brooklyn's, he's New York's best chance for rap since it's fucking 50 Cent. Um, you know, I, I want to see, I want to see what happens. You know, it's not a lot of money for me. Mm-hmm. Spend a couple mil on his defense, a couple mil bail, I get the bail money back real quick. The, the, so like a million or two for his defense. So it's probably going to be about four million in total I'm willing to put. And you can, you can print that, um, to his defense. It's not all the branch. I don't do, yeah, I don't do all the branches. I think, you know, um, I'm doing something for him. Uh, same way I felt I was doing something for the Wu Tang Clan, and I'm doing something for me. And, you know, if people benefit from that, listeners, whatever, that's great, but that's not my primary concern. Uh, yeah. First is him, second is me, and third is everyone else. And, you know, everyone wins. It's a win, win, win. You know, only losers are the fucking feds, you know, that want to see a young black kid, you know, sit in the fucking jail cell for no reason. Because um, cause his lawyers can't fucking get their act together and all this shit. So anyway, 